ladies and gentlemen, with three days left to go in my monthly fundraiser, I've got $767 left to raise. So if you feel compelled to donate or contribute, you can do it by sending me a letter, PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, and a Patron. If you want to thank me for seven years of work or for all the work that I've done over the last month, I would appreciate it. And I'm not asking you to not take care of yourself first, but if you have some left over after preparing for yourself, then I would sure appreciate it and every dollar helps. And I got to warn you, after covering the coronavirus nonstop all of February, warning that the mass spread in the U.S. would begin in March, I'm a bit tired, exhausted, and kind of grumpy. And this thing is spreading fast. We are now up to 72 cases in the United States and a lot of cases that are suspected because our testing ability has been pretty shitty over the last few weeks. Vice President Pence, who's the head of the Coronavirus Task Force, says the U.S. is ramping up production of face masks and now, in March, distributing the coronavirus testing kits across the country following a jump in virus cases and the first death on American soil. Oh, yeah, great job, buddy. I've been recommending all month that you have a month or two supplies of food, water, batteries, whatever medicines you can get on hand, and I still recommend that. Illinois has a new presumptive positive case and will need to be confirmed by the U.S. CDC. It's unclear if community transmission or not until contact tracing. Coronavirus Health Cheap urges over 60 crowds to avoid over 60 people to avoid crowds, public transportation, and supermarkets as bug spreads across the world. But if they're like my mom, they might be kind of stubborn and you can't tell me nothing. Plus, Donald Trump says this isn't that big a deal and that the risk is super low, so why I got to worry about it? I love you, Mama. Rhode Island Department of Health announced the state's first presumptive case of COVID-19. In a statement Saturday morning, the unidentified individual, described to be in their 40s, had traveled to Italy in mid-February and is currently being treated at an undisclosed hospital. And if any of my words come out stupid, I am definitely Brayman Mercury retrograde. Meg Terrell, Azar, we're already testing over 3,600 people for the virus. Go ahead and pat yourself in the back, buddy. Now we have the capability in the field to test 75,000 people in the next week or two. So expect radical expansion beyond that of the testing available and expect uh, radical reports of cases of infection. COVID-19, yeah, we should see cases explode based on the ability to ramp up the testing. And the Washington state, which is being hit hardest out of all the states right now that we know of, may have had uh, community spread for up to six weeks. Secretary Azar admits, now, you know, we don't have the best public health system in the world. And I would agree with you. And so Chris Gibson says, hey, let me get this straight. The government plans to bring back retired National Health Care Service workers to help with the coronavirus crisis. But there are other reports that we are hearing that if you are over 60 years old, you'll be in the low priority for treatment. So, yeah, it's kind of a double-edged sword. We've had six weeks to prepare for this, and we really haven't done a good job, in my opinion. For example, uh, the first responders who Thor News has always been a huge fan of. Doesn't seem like they're being properly prepared in protective gear um, as they will be now responding to the emergencies and picking up people who have the coronavirus. Um, you know, the health workers have been getting hit pretty hard in most countries where it has been spreading and hopefully we can learn from their mistakes. The Pope is still super canceling events due to whatever sickness he has, but no one has confirmed if it is or isn't the coronavirus. New York Stock Exchange is now considering shutting its trading floor to avoid the coronavirus spread. If you dig further or follow me on Twitter, at New Thor, you can find this report where it talks about how there's a lot of evidence showing that the virus may have been 
running around Washington State for weeks, and Washington State declares a national emergency. Yeah, somehow, the greatest nation in the world has been the worst at having good testing kits up until now, or, in, you know, in the next week, which is just super bizarre. The spreading of the coronavirus epidemic has shut down the Louvre. So if you were going to look at paintings of old naked ladies and naked dudes, then I guess you'll you'll have to wait until the epidemic is over. And you know what, man? Doom is like an aphrodisiac to me. So the fact that I am keeping in all my lusts just is a testament to how good I'm doing. Okay, great. Iran announced another spike in coronavirus infections on Sunday, and they have done a crappy job on informing people and preparing people as well. There are 978, 978 cases in a country and a rise of deaths with 54. The World Health Organization has asked or said global markets should calm down. And I think we've seen anyone who's talked about uh, buying stocks or the markets should be okay has no clue what they're talking about. Ooh, here's an important note. The British and German officials don't rule out putting cities or regions under lockdown. As I've been talking about for a month, at some point, dude, lockdowns are coming to the United States of America. I think especially when they start testing people properly and those numbers start to grow, we will see lockdowns in the USA. And they, they shut down all of Japan when Japan got 200 cases and seven deaths. So we are now 130 cases and six more deaths away from areas being put on possible lockdown in the USA, which is why I've been so adamant on asking you to prepare. Nike closes its sprawling Oregon campus for deep cleaning. Nike shuttered its enormous campus in Beaverton, Oregon over the weekend after confirmation of presumptive coronavirus in Washington County. And in local news, KPRC2 has confirmed a small group of Rice University employees and students is being placed in self-quarantine because of Rice employees' possible exposure to the coronavirus while overseas travel. Rice University is in Houston, and one of my best friends, Apollo, technically Troy, uh, works at Rice University. And so I have been annoying him with phone calls and text messages for three weeks now. and. Two days ago, I told him, dude, you and your wife and your baby need to get to the grocery store and stock up now. Anyway, so as planetary defense commander, technically I can be an annoying friend, but I only do it because I care about you and I care about y'all. And the tends to spread five to seven days with a person infecting two to three others, right? So assuming two others every week for six weeks, that would be two to the six power or 64 people. But if it's every five days and three others for 40 days, then it becomes three to the eighth power and 6,561 people infected. We're talking about Washington here. So we're guessing Washington has anywhere between 64 people to 6,561 people who are actually infected. But yeah, we're expecting a pretty big substantial outbreak in Washington state that was not detected. And so once they get those testing kits out and into the proper hands, I think we're going to see a pretty big explosion and spread. And this would fall in line with my prediction from the very end of January all through February. California announced a third coronavirus patient through community spread. And South Korea media reports that say some Koreans who attended the fashion show in Milan have tested positive for the coronavirus after returning to South Korea. And usually, you know, the poorest people get hit hard by natural disasters. But I have a feeling we are going to see in this uncontrolled bioweapon event that the super rich are going to get hit hard pretty well. Um, and they've been some of the biggest super spreaders we've had across the globe. You can't tell super rich people nothing, dude. Currently, Washington State has six coronavirus cases on the books. That was 18 hours ago. And coronavirus has officially overtaken Trump in media mentions. Isn't that crazy? Well, no, not really. I mean, he's one dude. He's one politician, dude. I mean, that's what I was saying. It's a one, you can't expect one man to save you unless it's Jesus, but that was 2,000 years ago. And just showing how inept, absolute 
politics and bureaucratic governments can be. The U.S. insisted on developing its own coronavirus test, even though the WHO already had one that worked. Then the U.S. test didn't work, and now it's dangerously behind in proactively testing for an outbreak. And we are well beyond the atoll of talking about politics. The election is eight months away, and Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump and Joe Biden are all in the range of if they get the coronavirus, there's a good chance they could die. So I would kind of wait a couple months until the coronavirus has peaked before worrying about who the hell you're going to vote for <laughs> eight months from now. And I've been saying that for a couple months, uh, you know, I don't know, all, uh, a month now. So and now you got a bunch of ships that are out in the Navy who are in a floating quarantine because they may or may not have cases on their ships, which would probably turn the whole ship in to what we saw with the Diamond Princess cruise ship, so that is not good news by any means. Matt Pierce letting us know, at a nursing facility in Kirkland, Washington, approximately 27 of the 108 residents of the, and 25 of the 180 staff have shown some symptoms of the coronavirus. Health officials said during a teleconference with the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. And so, we are into the Ides of March. It's going to get weirder and technically kind of scarier i know we all say no fear but a little bit of fear helps keep you alive and so i'm asking everybody to be cool i would definitely get prepared mentally physically and spiritually it definitely wouldn't hurt to get right with jesus god and the holy spirit and um try and be nice and as cool as you hand can and whenever you get positive exude that positiveness to other people because this is not the end of the world but we're probably going to lose a couple hundred thousand people, possibly even a million people over the next few months to the coronavirus. And it will probably just get weirder, exposing all the cracks and flaws that we have in capitalism, our political system, and the way we treat each other. But, you know, we tear things down so you can rebuild them better. So I've been training you for seven years for a specific purpose, and that specific purpose is 2020. As we enter in the grand transition. All right. So if you would like to contribute, man, I sure would appreciate it. Uh, I still got to buy whiskey and stuff. And who knows what type of situation we're going to be in for a month from now. So any contributions can be made through letters. I love your letters. PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, Patron. I got $767 to go. And seriously, thank y'all. Y'all have been utterly amazing. Thank you, Caleb. Stephen, Henry, the Computer Social Impact Research, JL, the Viking Marine and Hopi Warrior Princess, Lynn, Susan, Robert, Cody, Tom, Kenneth, and Whimsical. Y'all have been amazing. Asteroid Fight Club, you have been amazing the whole time at seven years of Thor News. I can't appreciate y'all enough. I guess the best way I can appreciate y'all is by keeping you guys updated and informed. And usually on the last three days of my fundraiser, I put up a bunch of videos about a bunch of stuff. So it'll be nice to take tiny breaks from the coronavirus, but I will still try and put up updates every six to 12 hours for you as I see fit. I do see the information coming out on viruses and, and, and spread in the United States. It will kind of be exploding over the next week. Yeah, the markets will be interesting. I think they're going down for sure. And you'll see Federal Reserve interest rate cuts. Anywho, I have done my best to bring us together as one Earth family for seven years. That didn't work. But we're still going to plug at it. Because Jesus Christ said, the peacemakers are the sons of God. And I like to consider myself a son of God. All right. Stay cool. I love you. Talk to you all soon. Peace out.